So this is a document I always like to show everybody. Um, this is a student work from uh, quite a ways back, but here's our stage and everything that is off the stage uh, is not seen. And so what I want to do, there's actually, uh, there's four scenes here that are happening and we can see them that they're all listed here and they go in order. But what is happening is if I, if I just play this for a second, you'll see that this is going to come into the screen. The rocket ship's going to take off and get ready and fly away. Then we'll move into scene two. This would happen. Again, everything off the sides you don't see. Scene three, it comes flying through the screen again. And then on scene four, lastly, it goes flying in the back and crashes into some invisible force field because that's what this whole thing was about. Okay, but let's just simply identify just scene one in general. So um, scene one, going back to the beginning. I'm going to zoom in here as well. When I'm looking at it, if I turn off certain layers, I can see that there's that. This is the landing gear. This is, I don't know what that is. This is uh, something at the end. Uh, there's that. And then this is the ship itself. So let's just look at the ship itself. So the ship starts here. And what we have to do in this program, I'll explain all this later, but we have to create our animations and make them into symbols. So this is a symbol on a keyframe. At this point in time, this thing lives here. At this point in time, this whole symbol lives here. And so what we did is we right clicked and we created a tween to go between. So tweening is going between keyframes. So it creates, uh, animate fills in the animation for us. So it's filling in those keyframes or those frames. It stops. At this point in time, it's here again. And at this point in time, it's up here. So we'll see that it rises. Then we start doing frame by frame animation. So we're rocking it. Another keyframe. So it's just literally going back and forth. And if I go back, what's happening? It's coming up. It's sitting there. It's coming up a little further. And now it's starting to rock and roll because a lot of times the animation is about exaggeration. And then we get to this point in time. And then we're going to compress the shape from at this point in time to here. So we're going to skew it to look small because it's getting ready to go. And then it stretches back out to this point. And then from this point, it goes from here to off stage. So it's going to fly through. So let's just watch it by itself. So I'm going to hit play. Comes up. Up a little more. Gets ready to go. And shoots out of the scene. So what is this? Um, oh, this is the fire. So this is just the fire by itself. So if I watch that. Um, nothing's really going to happen until the very end because that's when it's getting ready to go and then the fire shoots out to get it out of there. So if I put them together, you can see it's coming up, it's getting ready to go. Fire comes out of the back and it flies across the scene. All right, what's next here? So let's turn this one on. This one, oh, there's some smoke. So this is a smoke layer. So I'm going to turn these off. Hit play. So the smoke comes out of the fire. And what is happening in this one? Well, it's here at 0% opacity. Here it's at 100% opacity, and then here it's 0% opacity, and it's gotten larger. So we're scaling it between these two keyframes too. So this tweening concept works in all the other uh, Adobe programs that use motion. So After Effects, video, things like that, all use this principle of using keyframes. So let's just watch the smoke. That's what happens. Uh, down here at the bottom. This is the landing gear. So the landing gear comes up, stops with it, then it retracts. So let me pull up the plane so you can see that. So here it is. It's coming up, stops, retracts because it's taking off. And what is also happening? There's the floor. So it's not that the, that the actual ship is going up or the floor is going up. Um, we're faking the fact that the camera is panning or is tilting, actually. It's tilting. So that's what's happening. It's coming into the scene. So it's like the camera is tilting. So again, to put all of these items back together, play it out. See, it's taking off, getting ready to go. Fire, smoke, gone. So very cool little scene. So I just want to share that with you guys. Um, what is Animate actually used for, too, in the real world? So um, Lucasfilm, Star Wars, Galaxy of Adventures is done in Animate, Midnight Gospel on Netflix. Um, Science Saru um, is uh, created uh, Lou over the wall. 
uh, Mike and Milo. Uh, there's a lot of different things. So I'm going to just drag a few over here um, just so you can see. I'll just hit play. So these are things that are done in Animate also. So there's a lot happening here with something like that. Uh, let's see. I'm going to pull this over here. This is other animation stuff that's for real. Are you worried because it seems like we're all about to die? Is that a yes? What does death look like to you? So I don't know much about some of these cartoons, but you can see um, that it's all just considered tweening. <laughs> So a lot of this has to do with tweening. Um, let's see what else we got here. So that little sequence actually is a great example of, of tweening in here. So we have shapes. So everything that animates needs to be on its own layer. Um, there's not a lot happening in this one, actually. So you could see that that was kind of a frame by frame across with that. Also, the eyes are tweening. Um, a lot of scale stuff. It is illustration based. And then all those feathers falling are another way for that to work. So. Um, all that to say, um, there is a lot that can be done with it. There's a lot of real use cases. And this is, again, this is just a little bit deeper dive into overview of Adobe Animate.